this is how Game of Thrones starts. How's it going everybody and welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thank you for joining me on another House of the Dragon reaction series. Tonight we are continuing off with our favorite bunch of white haired tyrants. This one is season one episode seven. Uh, again, I don't know why they don't always put the name up here when the show comes on. It's like you upload the episode, you can like fix the metadata. Uh, but anyway, this one I believe is called Driftmark. I did look it up. Uh, last time on the House of the Dragon, we had the biggest time jump and shake up we had so far. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a 10 year time jump. The Rhaenyra and Alicent that we knew are long gone and in comes new actors taking their spot and they just had a whole brood of children. So there's a lot of names I still don't know. It felt like, honestly, like a reboot of the season already. <laughs> it kind of feels like, you know how like Naughty Dog just remade The Last of Us Part 1, even though that game did not need a remaster because it still looks great. It kind of felt like that. It's like, oh, this is the same show, but we're just giving it a facelift or something. Um, you know, honestly, the actors that took over Rhaenyra and Alicent, they did really good. Like I said last week, I'm glad they didn't change Matt Smith because he is like the linchpin in this series for me right now. But yeah, Rhaenyra had another kid. She had a whole bunch of them. And it turns out that all her kids are bastards from the hand of the king's son or something. And he got found out because he beat up Sir Kristen and, uh, he got ejected from the king's guard. Hey, kitty cat. And uh, basically, Alicent is still really on Rhaenyra's ass because she took her father's words to heart and she thinks that Rhaenyra is going to kill all her children once she ascends the Iron Throne. So honestly, it just really expanded the show and it it, it did take me out of it for <laughs> like probably three quarters of the last episode, but I kind of settled back in and uh, of course there was that that birth scene with uh, Le Lena? Le Lenor? I can't remember her name, uh, but Damon's new wife. Um, and she couldn't give birth and they're just going to like cut her open and Maybe she and the baby was going to die, <laughs> but she took her fate into her own hands, went to her own dragon and just ordered it to Dracarys and she got, she got just, she got vaporized. Uh, so again, like I said last week on the outro, I wonder maybe we're going to get like a baby wearing a crown of its mother's bones kind of thing in this episode. Cause you know that, uh, Viserys was having that dream. The baby would be born with a crown and kind of like a Q-bone type thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's pretty pretty graphic and disgusting, but uh, also very sad, and it would look really cool. So anyway, guys, I just really want to jump into this episode, and if you like my reaction and want to see more dislike it, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm, and subscribe, and hit that little bell in the corner, because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What'd you do? <laughs> and I also do some bonus videos and barely stream. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, you're going to get these reactions full length and a week or weeks before the YouTube audience. So if that interests you, please go check that out. If not, they'll be up here on the YouTubes eventually. What am I doing with my hands? Uh, so anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into this episode of House of the Dragon. This one, again, is Season 1, Episode 7. Pretty sure it was Driftmark or Driftwood or something like that. Let's do it. I don't think there's anything left in there, is there? And Damon's wives have a habit of dying off on him, don't they? <laughs> I hope he's there. He should be with his daughters, but he's not. Okay, good. good. <laughs> it's just staring him down. Damn, the king came. And the old hand. He's not the hand of the king anymore. Oh. Because that dude probably died, didn't he? Damon. Why are you laughing? Wow, even they believe in evolution? That's interesting. All the dead of Driftmark, huh? So who gets her dragon now? Does that belong to Damon? <laughs> he just, he's kind of like a Black Widow, isn't he? Just... Marries a bunch of people and takes their shit. I really like that they came out for Damon though, even though Damon doesn't seem too hurt about his wife's passing. Your little cousins have lost their mother. I could use a kind word. The Valarians are our kids. Of blood. No! Stop touching bugs, you crazy chick! We have nothing in common. She's our sister. You marry her then. <laughs> mother had only betrothed us. <laughs> the brother and sister are getting married? That's honestly not that weird in Game of Thrones, but still. Stop showing the spider. Is that the spider that escaped? Oh, she killed it. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Don't make it obvious. 
there's nothing you can say at that time. You just gotta be there for family. High tide will be yours one day, Viserys. The Lord of the Tides rules the sea. I don't want to. It's your birthright, lad. Come the Lord of Driftmark. It means everyone's dead. <laughs> yeah, birthright's all about death, not about what you get or what you have. So no baby then born from the ashes of its mother. I'm still unsure of like the relationships and who these character these kids are. Damn, tenants getting wasted. Damn, he's pretty much lost everybody, hasn't he? First is I don't know, is it a boyfriend or a lover in this scenario? I don't know exactly what they're called, but then his sister now. Kitty. She doesn't ever want to be petted when I'm doing nothing. It's only when I'm doing something. She's like, hey, give me attention. I don't want to seem like I don't care about this funeral. They haven't talked yet either. But I really don't. <laughs> we didn't really know that character. You know, we saw a little bit of her flirting with the king when she was 10 years old, and now she flew around on a dragon for a little bit and got roasted at 20. So it's like, we don't really know who that character was, and everyone's just so sad. Your girls had a very image of their mother. A comfort and an anguish, as I well remember. The gods can be cruel. Seems they've been especially cruel to you. <laughs> you got a new crown? The time that you came home. Pentos is my home. I know we've had our differences. Let them pass with the years. I need nothing. Brother. I mean, obviously he's still mad about that, but... No matter how fat the leech grows, it always wants for another meal. Did you say, no matter how fat the leech grows, it always looks for another meal? <laughs> so that was a good line. <laughs> Some shit about to go down, or what? You have the night's watch, Sir Kristen. Sure, he'll Lord take Commander. great care of Alicent. <laughs> and are they actually a thing, or are they just like confidants? I, I really don't know. We haven't seen them be together, have we? It's like, I wish I was jerking off over the city again. <laughs> Paint that red keep white, you know what I'm saying? No! Oh! <laughs> the crown was yours. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit. Oh, that howling wind is kind of unnerving in this situation. What is this brief mortal life, if not the pursuit of legacy? Advancements and betterment of the species and your friends and family and community. Not for your own personal gain. Oh, this is 2020 thinking and not like, you know, whenever Westeros is supposed to be. We are a lonely husband. You can speak the plain truth as we both know it. Those aren't our grandkids. <laughs> Our nearest children are not of your blood. But Lena's are. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. But your name doesn't go in history without the right blood, though, you know? I know better than anyone that our marriage is a farce. I at least make the effort to maintain appearances. You have more to lose. Is he gonna go for Rhaenyra again? We did try to conceive a child, we... Oh, okay. ...performed our duty as best we could, but to no avail. I did my duty for queen and country! <laughs> See, I wish we could have seen those stories. That could have filled up the rest of season one. Season two, we could have gotten this stuff ten years later. I just don't like the time jump. I do not believe Alicent capable of cold murder. That's what she's thinking of you, though, Rhaenyra. I wish they would just talk to each she other. She's capable of depravity. It's almost like Cobra Kai, but more dramatic. You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Look at what my life became without you. Oh, and I wonder what you think of mine by comparison. But Rhaenyra's going after him. Did you love her? We were happy enough. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't be. That's a longing right here. Rhaenyra going in for it. I'm no longer a child. Oh, okay. Who's gonna see this? I mean, they kind of stick out with that white hair, don't they? He's gonna have to end up killing uh, the king consort, and he's gonna end up marrying Rhaenyra, and maybe even killing his brother. Are we gonna see some Rhaenyra titties finally? Thank God for wreckage on the beach. <laughs> Get it, guys? I don't, I don't like this. I mean, I kind of do, I guess. Out of anybody, this seems like the most fitting match, I guess. I, I don't know. It is, again, it's still fucked up. <laughs> but now I guess it doesn't seem as fucked up because she looks older than the other Rhaenyra. Although the other Rhaenyra is like, what, 23 or something like that? Keep it in the family, guys. Yeah! <laughs> This is going to result in her being pregnant and giving birth to a white-haired Targaryen. I think that's when their secret affair might come out. That's what I'm calling. Were those scars, like, from that battle against the Crab Man? Oh, shit. What do you see with your elf eyes? He's not just going to barge in there, is he? There's always somebody watching. 
Oh, does that hurt? I mean, dragons are supposed to be like crazy intelligent, right? So I mean, it has to be depressed, it has to feel sadness and loss. This is the kid that really wanted the dragon, right? That got the pig. I'm a dragon too. <laughs> you gotta get that dragon out of those chains, man, or those ropes. She had the biggest dragon, didn't she? This kid's got balls going up to a dragon like that. That's a big boy. Oh, that's not okay. I thought it was tied down, but it's just uh, how they get up there. That makes a lot of sense. I was always kind of wondering how they just hopped up. I thought they just like ran up the tail, like reverse Fred Flintstone. Flintstone. <laughs> oh, the dragon's responding to him. This is gonna buck him off. Now, is this kid stealing this dragon? Oh, okay, this is bucking him off. He's gotta tame him. Because technically now this dragon belongs to either Damon or the daughters. This isn't his first time flying it. Oh shit. <laughs> you better hang on, kid. What's his name? Vagar? Vigar? Damn. Giving some uh, Harry Potter vibes right here, isn't it? Hold on! <laughs> Oh, I like that score that came in. Da -da -na 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 -na. That's cool. And they put a lot of work. Oh, look at this arms. I like how they're showing so much of this dragon. Damon just didn't leave her there. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, he's watching all that, though. That's interesting. Is he pissed? Impressed? It's him. It's me. Vega is my mother's dragon. Your mother's dead. Vega has a new rider now. <laughs> Who the fuck is this kid? Maybe your cousins can find you a pig to ride. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell no. Hell yeah, kid. Uh. <laughs> yeah, gang up on him. Kick his ass. I don't know where that little shit got his nerve from. Oh. I'll die screaming in flames just as your father did. Bastards. My father's still alive! He doesn't know, does he? Oh, this shit just got real, real. Oh. Nice, nice move. Nice fucking. Oh! That kid was like kind of meek and mild. Why the hell did he get like so cocky just because he got the dragon? He's like, I got a dragon, I've got power. The eyes lost your grace. Where were you? Me. Oh, what was that <laughs> he for? was drunk. Compared to the abuse your brother suffered. Abuse? He was trying to kill those kids. Who did this? They attacked me. He attacked Baylor. <laughs> this is how Game of Thrones starts. <laughs> oh, no. Silence! I will have the truth of what happened. It was a regrettable accident. Accident? Prince Lucera has brought a blade. He meant to kill my son. <sighs> it was my sons who were attacked and forced to defend themselves. The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. He called us bastards. <laughs> this is the highest of treasons. Where did you hear this lie? Where is Elaine I do not know. I could not find sleep. I had gone out to walk. Entertaining his young squires. An adventure. <laughs> Damn, all the tea is being spilled right now. Who spoke these lies to you? Oh, shit. It was Agon. Where did you hear such calumnies? Agon! Everyone. <laughs> yeah, they don't exactly look like the rest of you. When fighting must cease, we are a family. Now make your apologies. Your king demands it. That is insufficient. Oh, who are you to stand up to the king? Goodwill cannot make him whole. What would you have me do? I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. Jesus Christ. Do not allow your temper to guide your judgment. If the king will not seek justice, the queen will. Sir Kristen, bring me the eye of Lucerius Velarium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's gonna listen and do that. You will do no such thing. You sworn to me! He's sworn to the king. This matter is finished. Do you understand? Holy shit. Yeah, she's gotten way too comfortable being like the unofficial authority. Whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons? Should have it removed. Your grace. Alison, stay with the king! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Why did David stop her? Going her. too far. Alicent, let her go. Is she gonna take her own eye? Is she gonna take her eye? She wouldn't do that. And now you take my son's eye. To even that, you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? Hiding beneath the cloak of your own righteousness. Now they see you as you are. 
What did she cut? What did she cut? Is her wrist? Oh no. That could be a killing blow, couldn't it? Allison is gonna be beheaded. Do not warn me, mother. It was a fair exchange. I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. <laughs> you couldn't have said that earlier. This proceeding is at an end. Well, there's the new family, I guess. <laughs> that was tense for so long. Jesus Christ, this show is just masterful in how it does that. Gossip speculating, I've gone mad. Disobeyed the king. Oh, true. Basically, everything that you're trying to prove about Rhaenyra, you just delegitimized delegitimized yourself so no one's gonna trust you i've never seen that side of you my daughter it was an ugly thing <laughs> i regret it we play an ugly game for the first time i see that you have the determination to win it there is no winning the game of thrones he'll forgive you what else can he do keep a grip on your passions and i promise you and i together will prevail back in power and he's just already manipulating his daughter they wouldn't have even been at odds with each other if it wasn't for him right because i mean like she didn't really do anything wrong Aaron from Blindwood is going to love this. <laughs> They're just holding over it, too. Leave us. Those kids did good, though. I mean, that crazy little psychopath was trying to kill him. I should have been there. They should be our house words. <laughs> I have failed you, Rhaenyra. Our marriage, I tried. I know. I had hoped to bear your children. Things might have been different. I hate the gods for making me as they did. I do not. You are an honorable man. But I recommit myself to you and to strengthening our house for your ascension. You deserve better than what I have been. I think she might have found a new one, though. Oh, and he's going to think that... Because I'm pretty sure Rhaenyra got preggers. Is he going to think that her new baby is his? But she will be all white and she won't have any dark complexion, unfortunately. Viserys. We'll speak no more of it. That would suck. There's nothing to do in that carriage. It's so bumpy and loud. And you got such a long journey. So we did take the dragon, then. Damn. I mean, I felt happy for him, you know, before he got all annoying. I got a dragon. I'm hot shit now. <laughs> Fire is such strange power. They're about to get a lot closer, aren't they, over the next few episodes? Yet it has cost us both what we love. Valarians knew the truth of it, but she is the better ally. If it's an eye you want, balance the scales. I am your servant. That will not be necessary. That guy is devious, and he, everyone always overlooks him, obviously, because of his uh, his limp and stuff. Like, I think he's going to surprise us in the upcoming seasons. I hope this has already been renewed for season two, because I can't wait for season two to come out. I need you, uncle. <laughs> Just as the Lannisters did in the future. Valaria and Bonyaris. In Aonike, Rzonixi. Could not marry unless Leonor were dead. I know. Damn. After that talk you just had with them last night? Like, come on, Rhaenyra. You had an endless night with the Lord's taste. So I know has been kind to me. There are places across the narrow sea where it doesn't matter what a man's name is, only how much gold he possesses. What are you asking of me, my lord? A quick death, one with witnesses. I will not be a tyrant. If you are to be a strong queen, you must cultivate love and respect, yes, but your subjects must fear you. Why are you in my father's hall? I do love Lenin. Then grant him this kindness. Set him free. You forget yourself. My lord. Oh my god, that was an impact. And Princess Rhaenys, their only remaining child. The realm will whisper that I was somehow Into the responsible. fire, that is a message. Was that him or the other guy? I can't, he was so burnt. They will fear what else we might be capable of. Wow, this is a 180 from the last six episodes. Holy shit. She cut her lip with that dragon glass? That's gross. <laughs> That's his daughters just lost their mother. <laughs> the kids just lost their father. Another father. Why well, she kind of looked like a blonde Aloy right there? See, this honestly feels like we just got three episodes condensed into one. This is insanity. Oh. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. So. That was the dude that attacked him and Lenor, right? So how... Who was the guy that was in the fireplace? All right, everybody. That was the House of the Dragon, Season 1, Episode 7. I think it was called Driftmark. Like I just said, 
this was like three episodes condensed into one and it didn't really feel like it was missing anything. I mean, toward at the end, everything was sped up a lot, which I didn't really like. They should have had that to be one or two episodes and just in itself. But in this one, we had, you know, the funeral for the, the, the mother and Damon's wife. And then Allison's son actually stole the dragon from his dead aunt, I guess. And it just, for some reason, his personality switched 180 after he rode that dragon. Like, it was a good scene. I liked that he finally found one, even though it didn't really belong to him. But it was a good moment for his character. But as soon as he got off that dragon, he was just like the worst thing in the world. And I just, I, is there something like with a dragon, like once you connect with the dragon that you're... <laughs> just a tyrant or something i don't know so all the kids ended up getting into this big brawl the kid loses his eye and then allison basically almost tried to take the kid's eye herself i, I thought there was going to be a little bit more repercussions obviously the king didn't look too happy with his wife um i thought he was just going to be like well gotta take your head now apparently rhaenyra and damon got together and really quickly pretty much plotted to overthrow everything they killed the husband after the husband was just like yeah i'm gonna recommit to this family she's like bet dead <laughs> so it ends on their marriage and that's that was a lot that was a lot in this episode how long was it like an hour hour 10 jesus at least something happens in this most of the time on lord of the rings nothing really happens except for that last episode holy shit but yeah this was just kind of boring in the in the beginning and then it just started speeding up until it got to light speed at the end but overall a really good episode and i just can't wait for more house of the dragon like i said this should be at least two or three episodes from this one episode so i hope this isn't like an indicator that they're gonna do these fast-paced things that kind of like fucked up season eight you know they're like up here and they teleport down here but i don't know it seems like the speed up process is i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is this felt like a a time jump but in real time, kind of, we just saw it, like, fast forward, and you're just like, just, just show this shit happening naturally in the show. We like these characters. We want to see them do this shit. I don't know. That was just kind of sped up for Lanor's part. I think that's his name. But then, as we saw at the end, he did actually get away with his dude, and uh, I guess they're going to go make their own life down in the narrow seas, I think that's what he said. But uh, I'm sure we're going to see him back at some point. So anyway, guys, what did you think of this episode and that whole like plot with Rhaenyra and Damon? You got to let me know in the comment box down below. And if you like my reaction and want to see more just like this, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe. And hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and barely stream. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, you're going to get these reactions full length and a week or weeks before the YouTube audience. So if that interests you, go check that out. If not, they'll be on the YouTube eventually. And I guess that's going to be about it for me for this week, guys. So thank you so very much for joining me. You know I love and appreciate every single one of you. And remember, if you're going to go outside, keep wearing a mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you all next week with some more House of the Dragon. Take it easy, guys. Ah!